Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from I Repair Autos. Quick update. A couple of weeks ago, I went and looked at a used Mercedes S550. And the miles seemed a little bit low. And because of that, the price was high. And uh, got me to thinking. I know a lot of unscrupulous dealers, sellers can modify electronically, reprogram the miles on these uh, odometers. So I'm going to show you a tip otherwise known as a little secret uh, menu option inside of the scanner that shows you how many hours is on various components in the car and you can convert those hours into miles it's usually I think one mile is the equivalent of one minute so you do the math multiply the hours and you get the true miles So using the iCarsoft scanner, we're going to go ahead and we'll choose the vehicle. It's a 2008 Mercedes S550, so we're going to go ahead and just choose that. Left-hand drive. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go into uh, select um, automatic to choose all the options. We're going to go ahead and choose airbags. We're then going to go down to the actual values and uh, take a look at how many hours it's on the airbag. So now we're going to go down to operating hours counter. So a general rule of thumb is to take the number of miles and multiply that by 60. So 5,103.54 miles times 60 is equal to 306,212.4 miles. So this is atrocious, 132,916.4 miles difference, discrepancy. Guys, don't get taken for these kinds of tricks. Make sure that the car you're buying is really the car you're buying and the price that you're paying for is truly reflective of the miles. There were other things that indicated that this car had higher mileage than indicated as far as wear and tear on the foot pedals and things of that nature but uh, we're not going to get into that into this video as always everyone don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other mercedes owners drivers do-it-yourselfers can find them easier thanks and peace out